Hey guys, I'm Esthetician Trish McCarty and today I want to talk about Obagi's Tretinoin and why you may need this in your life. This video is brought to you by my friend Kim who has been asking me what the heck can I do to get rid of these wrinkles between my eyes. Um, a lot of people refer to them as their 11s because a lot of times you got lines that literally look like 11s and it's always good if we can prevent fine lines and wrinkles from happening in the first place because obviously once you get the problem, it's much harder to reverse. That doesn't mean it's impossible. There are a lot of things that we can do both during home care and treatment wise. Today, I'm just going to really focus on um, home care. So Abaji comes in many different strengths uh, for their tretinoin. We personally only carry the Abaji 0.5% and this is backwards because of my selfie camera. Sorry, I'm not a fancy production studio. I don't have a fancy setup. So this is what we're working with. So we have the Abaji 0.5%. We sell this for $83. We also have the 0.1% and this is $93. We will ship these out free by the way if you want to call me for a free consultation and get that set up, it, the number is 304-691-8910. So we do ship our products over um, anywhere in the United States and we offer free shipping on orders $35 and above. Just throwing that out there in case you are watching and you were not in the area locally. So what, what benefit does the Tretinoin carry? It helps with fine lines, wrinkles. It also helps with sun damage. So it's helping both as a preventative and it also will reverse damage to some degree. Now, if the lines are extremely deep and you've had these wrinkles for 35 years, um, the Obagi is only gonna do so much. It doesn't mean that it's not gonna help at all. It can soften the look of those lines. It can also start to reverse and fade those lines. But combining that with an in-office procedure would honestly be the best thing for your buck and actually give you the best results. So for home care, we only recommend that you start using a tretinoin twice a week. So what I tell my patients to do is maybe try it on Monday and Friday. Space it out. You don't want to do like Tuesday and Wednesday back to back and be like, well, that was two days. No, you want to space it out because the tretinoin is very aggressive. It is designed to make your skin flake, peel. It is going to cause some irritation to some degree and that's to be expected. It does not have to convert into anything. It just is ready to roll and it is going to be very effective, but those side effects can be pretty annoying. So if you get something like a Vin Retinol cream, it has retinol to hide in it. And all of these are some type of vitamin A product. This one is time released, meaning that it doesn't, it has to convert and it is going to take some time to deliver the product into your skin. And this is better for someone with extremely sensitive skin like myself. I don't do super well with tretinoin. Um, one other thing you can do if you have tretinoin and you are super sensitive to it and you're like, I am not willing to wait two or three weeks for my skin to get used to it because it will take you know two to four weeks just for your skin to um, adapt to how aggressive it is you can mix it with a good thick moisturizer and then apply it to your skin and that will make it less harsh for your skin but still be pretty effective so regardless if you can tolerate this well you want to be using a moisturizer after you apply this. So serums always go on first if you have a serum. And then you want to also apply your tretinoin first. And then 
So if you have a serum and a tretinoin, you can do the serum, then the tretinoin. Wait a minute or so for that to absorb and then apply your moisturizer on top. So ones that we carry in our office is the Marshall Triple Antioxidant Cream, the Marshall Ultralight Face Cream. Now the face cream, the light one, is more for someone with oily or combination skin. It's not always enough hydration for someone with really dry skin. So this is better for someone with that oily or combination skin. And um, you may be fine to use that with tretinoin if you're that person. If you're someone more drier, you may need something like the triple antioxidant cream or the Aven Skin Recovery Cream. We also are working on getting another thicker moisturizer uh, by Aven, but we haven't gotten that yet. So um, another thing you wanna do is use sunscreen because any kind of vitamin A product is gonna make you more susceptible to sun damage, like the sunspots that show up on your face. The um, it, it can also cause fine lines and wrinkles, so it can backfire because your skin is much more sensitive. And it can also um, make you more prone to skin cancer because it is turning your skin cells over faster. So it's very important that you use a sunscreen during the day when you're out in the sun, when you are using any kind of vitamin A, uh, whether that's tretinoin, retinol, retinaldehyde, any of those, you need to be using sunscreen. Uh, we'll be getting Elta MD sunscreen really soon, so just want to throw that in there. That's a really great uh, sunscreen. I also have a few drugstore favorites, but if you want a good moisturizer and sunscreen, we will have that soon. So, just an FYI. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I am just doing this no edits. That's how we're rolling today. Um, definitely don't want to be going to the tanning bed while using a tretinoin because that is bad news. That is going to destroy your skin. Just don't do that. That's a long story short. Tanning breaks down the elastin in the skin. It just, that's what keeps your skin from sagging. It keeps it from getting wrinkled and you are just... If you are buying really great treatments, whether that's home care products or treatments in office, and then you are going to the tanning bed or purposely tanning outside, that is just basically like you're throwing your money away. And sometimes you're even causing more harm than if you weren't using these products because it's turning your skin over faster. So the outside skin are um, epidermis. The outermost layer of the epidermis is the stratum corneum. That is the uh, dead skin cells. So when you see the skin flaking off, it's because your skin replaces itself typically every 30 days. Now, as we age, as we get older, that goes down from 30 days to uh, anywhere from 50 to 80 days. So when your skin's not turning over faster like that, starting to dry, it's starting to crack, it's starting to get wrinkled, and tretinoin, retinols, they speed it back up. So we like that. So it's helping the aging process a lot. Also a fun fact, um, tretinoin was originally designed for acne, and there are studies uh, that they were conducting to see how it was reducing ac acne, and it was reducing the acne very well. But the participants started reporting that, hey, my skin overall is getting more smooth. It's helping my fine lines, my wrinkles. So it was an accidental discovery. Just um, a fun fact for you. So there are um, lower dose tretinoins that I would probably recommend for acne versus like a 0.1. I would never say to do that. Um, I always tell people to start with the lower strength first, the 0.5%. See how your skin tolerates that. Do it twice a week. Once you finish this bottle and you're like, well, I did really well with that and I didn't have a whole lot of side effects like she mentioned, then you would be okay to bump up to the 0.1%. 
The 0.1 percent is honestly better for those with um, deeper damage, those with sun damage, and um, who um, have thicker skin, honestly. So it's case by case. We do free consultations. We'd be happy to see you and let you know what uh, we would recommend. So if you'd like to get that schedule, call 304-691-8910. We would be happy to do something virtual with you or see you in office. And again, we do mail out products, free shipping if the order is over $35. Thanks so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up if you found it helpful and share with any friends who you think would be interested. All of these things help my uh, YouTube be seen and I do have social media, Facebook and Instagram. Same spelling as it is here, Esthetician Trish McCarty. Thanks and have a great day. Bye!